Okay. So now we go. I still want to be a Pau Yowie or something. No, I think really what I want is a uh, Dragon Quest Monsters game with these voxel elements. It'd be so nice. Hello there, t -t 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 traveler. I'm t -t -t trying to get a cube lit. I acclimated to this f freezing c c cold, cold, cold. Us ham ham hammer hoods don't have thick shaggy f fur, so we don't 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 do well in these big 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 blizzards. I spend as much time here as p p p p p possible. I'm bound 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 to grow one sooner or later, and I'll b b be able to make it all the way to the freezing fort fort fortress without even feeling chilly. I mean, I could just probably run it. Not like it's actually that big of a deal. I'm kind of surprised... Uh, I'm kind of surprised you couldn't make, like, a, a sweet fur cloak or something for this game. Because that would have actually been, like, really cool. Uh, getting, like, the proper... Like, a, a proper, like, warm cape and cloak and stuff. Oh, well. I guess I could have also fast-traveled up here. Ish. Sometimes this game freaks out at you if you sequence break too much, though. At least it was this sequence. This, uh, at least we got the, uh, the bunny girl side quest done. Is this it? Are we already here? Yeah, because I never touched this area because I couldn't fly over it, so it was a pain in the butt. I know not you, you new guards. Rumors say tricks of humans transform into monsters and sneak around sneaky, sneakily like sneaks. If you see any friends acting funny, you tell me. That is, that's if you survive to tell tale. You so super puny, even puny humans could beat you. <laughs> I'd rather be puny than pug ugly. Come on, you overgrown boogie. Out with it. Tell us what the Scare Force's we biggest weakness is. Malroth. Their weakness, no secret, their weakness cold. That why we guard super chilly treasure here for them. Make sure no tricksy humans find it. But why you ask about weakness? We think you very fishy. Let me see who you really are. Or you, bring the shiny. Scream! Yes, sir! Right away, sir! What the devil is that? Gah! You tricksy humans! You try to trick me, tricksy tricksters! We see how tricksy you are when me smash you to any pity pits. Oh, bye. Okay. Bombs away. Blamo. Ah, shoot. Eh, doesn't really hurt. It's honestly not worth it. I should probably just actually participate. Kill the other guys. I, I really wish this had like proper magic, archery, thieves, whips, boomerangs, and so on and so forth from like... From all of the uh... I don't know. From like all of the Dragon Quest games? Cause it'd be cool if you could have like a bunch of different weapons to use. Well, that wasn't so hard. Why did we bother with all that sneaking around in the first place? I suppose we did learn one thing, though. Somehow they've got Ra's mirror. How the heck did they get their grubby monster mitts on that? You entrusted it to Anessa, didn't you, dude? And my suspicions are true, though it pains me to say it. The spy in Moonbrook Castle, the human among us whose allegiances lie with the monsters. It must be Anessa. What? 
How else could the monsters have Ra's mirror in their possession? She must have told them where she'd hidden it, if she didn't simply hand it over to them herself. I have had my doubts about Anessa for some time now. I volunteered to join you on this mission in hopes of finding proof of her subterfuge. Come, let us take whatever the troll was guarding and return to the castle as quickly as we can. For the time being, I would ask that you do not confront Anessa about this, nor reveal the truth to the townsfolk. Give me some time to formulate a plan. Is that it? Is that it for this place? Really? I guess so, yeah. It looks like this place is a lot bigger from afar, but... Oh, well. Shiver shards. I guess it's just really tall, so it looked tremendous. Huh? What are those things? Are, those scare uh, are the scare force really so terrified of a couple little crystals? There's a bitter chill emanating from them, and the troll did say the scare force were vulnerable to cold. Perhaps you could use them to make another magical weapon. I have full confidence that you will think of something spectacular. Come, let us return to the castle and complete the blueprint. Okay, Crack Contraption. A weapon of war that interrupts the advance of invading foes with icy winds. Freezes nearby foes when activated. Yeah, there's a treasure chest up there. I saw it, but still. There we go. Probably just got like a life seed or gold in it. I'll take gold. I could have just gone around this way. All right, uh, let's see, next order of business, let's go up. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure if there's anything further up here, but we might as well check. Oh, we're at it. I mean, the... look like there's anything. You always have to check, because they like hiding vitality seeds in weird, weird, sneaky spots. But I'm not getting much. So it's probably not worth wasting my time any further here. Whoops. Anything else here? The answer is no. And I've already done that. But let's go back anyway. I think we're actually out of the area where the snowstorms really hit. Nope. This is still part of it. Okay. And then now this is the... This is like the weird everything is illusion land. The skybox for this is really pretty. Though it's really low down. Like, I want to point out the clouds are really, really like close to the ground comparatively. I guess I'm supposed to be on a tall mountain, but still. Okay, let's get out of sad land though. Is that slime, uh... And cut into the roof of the building he just passed? Yeah. It's a, uh, it's one of the... Let me see if the chapel is still functional as it stands. Uh, I think so. Even with the amount of damage that they did to this place, I think it still works. Let me see. Let's grab some more of this stuff. And I learned I learned how to make the ice traps, I think. So I should be good to go. 
I here. Or no, no, not here. Here. Back contraption. Trap her in a box, then do the quest. Unfortunately, NPCs will just warp right out of the box. Like, they care not for tricks, traps, or any kind of japery. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, do we wanna... We have a lot of gold sitting around. Uh, for people... Uh, I guess Halberd. Is there much of a use for the rest of the gold? Actually, there probably is. Because it's really tempting for me to, uh... To waste all of my gold on, um... On, like, a bunch of extra mountain cleavers. For extra damage. But I shouldn't do that. Ow. And these have not grown. Let's see. What's the food doing in here? Well, they have some food. I will steal yet more of it. I'll take the slime buns, but they can have they can have the bread and the other stuff. I just want their more complicated meals. They're already out of potatoes. I do hope the next game has better farm management, but you actually have to keep your people fed or they work slower and fight worse. Because that would be kind of nice. Okay, is this done? Only done with one out of four. What? Well. Oh, dude, did you, how did your mission go? I mean, go. Did you learn of a weakness we can exploit to defeat the Scare Force? Reason solid with ice emitting crack contraptions, you say? I take it there to be placed upon those question marks on the blueprint. But won't you also need some sort of mechanism to tr trigger the traps? Pressure plates you built previously only activate devices that are placed immediately adjacent to them. What we really need is some way to activate the crack contraptions from a distance. Aha, I can almost hear the cogs turning within that builder's brain of yours. I sense another invention coming on. Well, when you have conjured up all you need to complete the blueprint, pray do so at the earliest opportunity. The Scare Force may attack at any moment. Hey, thank you, Gold Dodger, for the, uh, for the sub and welcome. I think that's Gold Dodger. Either that or no, it's Gold Roger, but with an uh, extra D, isn't it? Well, thank you, Gold Dodger. For the sub, sorry. Uh, and how was life? Hope you were having a nice, relaxing afternoon as well. Activator. Uh, trigger that goes on the ground. Activates far away traps and armaments when stepped on. Can be died. Let an activator set off traps from a distance. They work an absolute treat with crack contraptions. How far away can I be? That is question. Holy crap, these bushes. If the rest of my crops grow, grew this fast, nobody would starve. Like, I don't know. I think it would be really satisfying to have a, uh... Like, more town management. Like, can you imagine if you could mush this game and RimWorld together into one game? That might actually be the perfect, like, town management game. Obviously, you'd have to improve the combat a lot. Yep. Let's see, without the RNG of RimWorld? Honestly, I'd actually be fine with the RNG of RimWorld. Like... What about Factory Town? Nah, I'd, I'd much prefer RimWorld. Factory Town's satisfying, but I think Factory Town plus... Dragon Quest Builders would just be confusing and weird and maybe not comfortable. It would be fun to have a, uh, more automation, but honestly, that's just what your people are for to some degree. What kind of combat from what game? I mean, honestly, I would say this combat, but with some more moves, you know, some light attacks, heavy attacks, maybe like a metal slash... I mean, we've got the circle sweep and so on and so forth. 
Uh, just maybe some archery and spell casting. I don't think the combat would be would necessarily need need to be that much better. Just slightly. Breath of the Wild combat. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to if you wanted to shoot for the moon, Breath of the Wild combat would probably be your best option. I definitely wouldn't say Skyrim or Grim Dawn. I mean, it would be kind of fun from an ARPG standpoint, but it would feel unsatisfying. I mean, the alternative I would say would be uh, Orcs Must Die. Make it a third-person shooter. Tonality would be different, but it'd probably be pretty fun. Okay. Okay, so they want them right. Uh, hold up. They want the crack contraptions floating in space. All right. Oh, you drunk blueprint. We'll reorganize this when it's not stupid. Okay. Uh, let's see. Activators. Well, let's get the remaining crack contraptions down. I was wondering about this. I mean, I could probably keep them as such for now. But it seems weird and wrong, so what are we missing at this point? Just the last bit of wall blocks. They should get that done. Don't forget to speak to the king. He has a mission icon over his head. No, his mission is the, uh, the three missions on the right side. This is what happens with every single, uh... Every single chapter that your main quest giver. Did they replace the barriers with the berry? That's amazing. At least they didn't rip up my bonus uh, laser walls. Or they kind of did. Oh, they moved them around at the very least. I'm pretty fine with my bonus fire traps, though. I don't know. It kind of mostly works. You guys done yet? You always have trouble with, like, one section of wall. The problem is, I can't reach it because the part that's missing... Oh. Uh, oh, uh, never mind. I know where the part that's missing. Right here. Yep. Damn. Yeah, I'll put it over here then. Uh, why? Why couldn't just add on to the previous blueprint instead of repeatedly replacing this section? I needed that space. Spache. Is that it? Are you good? You're done destroying my precious chapel. I mean, it almost actually works. Maybe if we move the chapel to the second floor, you might have space for it there. No. I really don't have space for the chapel up on the second floor. Like, it would have to go up on the third floor 
And I don't want to do that. We're still shocked we haven't done anything with the backside of the uh, castle area. You really would have expected we build something back there a little bit. <sighs> I guess in protest, I could put the chapel in the very far ends. Well, blueprint's done. I'm just going to accept that it's it's kind of butts. And just put... Uh, Just tear up the stupid gate? I did. What the hell? That is not what I was aiming for in the slightest. And yet. Oh, those actually blend together pretty well. Well. This is what you've done to my beautiful church. You monsters. Well. I mean, it's still functional. It just looks a little stupid. I'm just gonna accept that. And then we're gonna go tear some things up because this whole blueprint is dumb. Like, seriously, these... These freaking ballistas? Why are they even there? They're pointed at my own people. I'm just gonna repeatedly destroy this. And build walls, walls here. Because the alternative is just like... My warriors end up standing... Firing at nothing. Because there's nothing there. There's no one there. Move the chapel somewhere else. No! I'm not gonna move an entire goddamn building. Just because it's mildly inconvenient. Like, I'm just gonna criticize the game because like... It's a little inflexible, but me re me moving the entire chapel is going to take way more time than making it work with what I've got. Like, there's no reason why you need to repeatedly redo all of the uh, defenses here. When, you know, I might have a better idea. Like, it would be kind of nice if, uh, if the game recognized, like, oh, yeah, he's actually built his own defenses instead. Let's use those. You know, if, if I could have actually said... Let me build my defenses myself, because otherwise you end up with stuff like this. They're gonna repair all of this after the battle. No, they're not. It saves the state of the base right before the uh, the battle happens. So unless there's another layer of defenses that we add to all of this, which I highly doubt, uh, this is the last time that we expand the fortress, which is good because. I'm getting a little tired of the go out, find their weakness. Like, I don't know. I almost feel like uh, I would have enjoyed this chapter a bit more if there was no mission to go find the weakness. I could either find it out myself, build a defense that's so strong that who cares, or just try and muscle it out with a well armed people. Like, how, how great would it have been if there had been 12 objectives? And any one of them might actually work better or worse. Um, and you could even ignore all of them if, say, Mega Moat works out. But say, like, uh, you have an objective. Go get proper weapons to arm your people. Like, go out and find Mithril underground and you have to go through, like, a bunch of extra steps uh, to get the Mithril. And so everybody's running around with, like, really, really, like, handy weapons and armor and so on and so forth. Let's see, you have the blueprint for the chapel. Wouldn't it take a couple of minutes to hammer down the chapel and place a new one? Yeah, but my current chapel works! Like, I don't know how this is hard for you guys to understand. My chapel is currently fine. It's just stupid. I could hammer it down, but that would just be a greater waste of time for... As far as I can tell, no reason.
Because, yeah, I could move it, but why? You know, I've already, I've already made it work, so unless they tear everything up again, I, what I have is, is functional. You, you're asking me to waste my time further when the chapel doesn't even provide an active benefit. So if it was just a totally inactive structure, so be it. Let's see. I'm just I'm just mildly upset because this whole system could have been actually designed considerably better. And like in a much more engaging sense. And I hope maybe next time. Huh. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Well honestly. They go on and on about these people being beat to ice and whatnot, but like I could just beat them to death. And regular buttons trigger the ice traps. I'm pretty sure they can. They can. Like I'm. I'm actually kind of confused. Oh, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I'm kind of confused why the ice traps are are placed so far forward. But I guess normally you're supposed to try and defeat them before they uh before they get back to the gates because the game didn't assume that you were gonna have a giant freaking moat. One way or another, this whole system is kind of neat in theory, weird in practice. Oh, I'm running out of uh, healing bush bushes. They're actually they're actually uh, running out of charges too. Oh well, excellent work, dude. Those crack contraptions finish off the blueprint rather nicely. I trust they'll do the same to our foes. However, I fear the scare force will not be the last enemy we have to face. The more of them out there, I feel it. We may never win this war, but we can still fight together. Hey, dude, do you really think she's in league with the... Is everything quite all right, you two? I'd rather you not look at me and... Me... So askins. If there's something you want to say, just come out and say it. Hold on, I think I feel something. What the world was that? I will grab more iron. Probably make more steel for reasons. Oh right, I can make more gold. Let's make more gold. I need more gold. Uh, that would require them to actually program responses to more strategies. Not really. Like, all they need to do is just have the enemies... Well, actually, it would be really... I'm not going to say really easy to program this, but enemies have point A and point B. Point A is their spawn point. Point B is, say, the throne room. If they break the throne or if they kill the king, you lose and you have to start over. After that, it's entirely up to the player to, say, come up with a castle, come up with the gates, uh, you know, arm your people, put more traps down, and so on and so forth. And, like... And really, really give the players just like 10 different options to bolster your defenses. So if you're hasty or you're lazy, yeah, like an orcs, orcs must die, kind of, but like in a more sandbox environment. So if you're hasty or you're lazy, you could try and put the, well, I mean, you could straight up put the king in a, in a tower high above and just cheeseball brawl your way through everything. Um... And, and you know, pretty much just win by by skunking the AI. Uh, I feel like Wander can make the best fortress for this game without any restrictions. Yeah, if they didn't keep tearing up my defenses, I could probably come up with something interesting. But because I'm railroaded so hard to this one design, I don't feel the desire to mess around too much with the defenses. Because, like, who cares? I, I don't know. Uh, it would be nice if there was more flexibility with a lot of these objectives. It was kind of the same thing with uh, with Chapter 2 in the Mines. I think it would have been so much more satisfying if you actually had to find veins and set up whole support networks, elevators, rail systems that went all the way to the deepest levels, uh, you know, recovery stations so if any of the miners get hit by, by monsters down below, uh, you know, you could... 
by doing all of that, that culminates in, in having enough resources to give to Goldie Rocks. And instead, it was much more of a, like, just five days pass and you have enough to give to Goldie Rocks, pretty much regardless of what you do. Yeah, when you restored the walls the first time, it was cool because it rebuilt the runes. After the first time, it got boring. Yeah, because this isn't my design out here. You know, I added my own elements and I moved some things around. And the moat... <laughs> I mean, the freaking moat, man! Now to see if moving things around will benefit or hinder the battle. Well, it's certainly not going to be any different from what they had originally, which was floating in midair, so we'll see. Anyway, it seems like a pretty meaty army is on its way over. Must be the Scare Force. What do you say, dude? You ready to wall up some monsters? Yes. That's the spirit. Let's go out there and give them the fight of their lives. Oh, and dude, before we go, don't take this wrong way. All those gizmos you invented are really incredible. When it comes to actually clobbering these monsters, that's my job. If you think these contraptions of yours can replace me, you got another thing coming. Can we, like, give him a hug or something? I'm sick of being treated like I'm worthless. It makes me want to smash stuff to smithereens. Luckily for you, that's what I'm good at. So come on, let's go and bash some baddies' brains in. Oh, those fireworks are not. Yeah, I'm just chucking a grenade. Yeah, so moving the moving the ballistas centrally was absolutely worthwhile. And it looks like the freeze traps traps were worth it. If they hang out there, they're gonna keep those guys pretty frozen for a while. So my my choice of moving the traps further in was a good idea. Leaving them out in just pure space was going to do nothing. This is actually kind of embarrassing to watch. Yeah, the secondary freeze traps aren't going off at all. You need somebody actively popping them or otherwise there's no point in it. One guy left if they can kill him. Sooner than later, I'd like. Thank you. Sup? I am here! Alright, bye. Good luck, Malroth. I believe in you. I'm just gonna be standing on this button. I guess I can... I guess I can chuck grenades into this entire mess. There's a lot of enemies in there, and it's pretty good AoE. And I've got like 200 of them. Saving them is meaningless. That frost trap has some AoE to it. But yeah, if, if you just keep them fighting here, it's not so bad. I mean, that should be kind of obvious. I guess there's a bunch of dudes in the back. But let's just do damage to these guys. But yeah, this is why I was talking about, like, kind of a weird combination between this and RimWorld. Uh... Because I think some level of, like, procedural generation might actually make a big difference here. I get tired of getting attacked by the same enemies over and over and over again. Especially because only the first groups ever dropped the things I needed. Ah, not bad, Builder. Not bad at all. But let's see how you fare when I cast Kaboom and turn your little castle to ashes. Let's see. I'm 
just gonna sit here chucking bombs and standing on this, standing on this switch. Don't they do that? Aim at their mitts, please. Their mitts is the right place to be chucking. I'm actually sure if this is the mitts. No, this is our mitts. It really does feel like we have a stupid amount of soldiers here for the amount of challenge required. Like, that's actually another thing that would go on the, the list of... Oh, wow. He really is just wrecking stuff. Well, it's okay. They'll fix it up. Ow. That actually rather hurts. Oh, note to self. Bail when he starts casting something. Um, but yeah, recruiting people. I think that would have actually been a, uh, another, like, objective that he could have had on the, the list of, like, kind of freeform things to do on this chapter. If you actually had to go out and rescue people from, like, monster dungeons. Uh... Because, like, we more or less got handed an army, and if you notice, like, none of these traps mean anything for this guy. To be fair, he's the boss, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, but, you know, you could also have stuff like specking them into different things, like defense buffs, or, say, the healing spell. Like, teach having them go out and learn that would actually have been a really, really cool, like, side objective. But you don't need to do it. If you, if you wanted to, you could just, like, blitz through all the chapters. Um, yeah, or even random encounters during exploration. If, if successful, you get another person. Yeah. Urgh! This cannot be defeated by mere humans. You may have defeated me, Urgh! but you cannot escape your destiny. Urgh! Struggle all you will. It makes no difference. Urgh! Huzzah! The scare force are defeated! <laughs> oh ho! In, uh, huzzah indeed, dude! All three of Hargon's heroes are laid low, and it's all thanks to you. If you have earned yourself a prize, young man, five million gold coins, you've earned it. Quickly, Jeremy, fetch it from the coffers. God, Zooks, your majesty, have you gone quite mad? We haven't any coffers in the castle, let alone any gold coins with which to fill them, whatever they may be. Oh, oh, well, no matter, young dude, I have no reward for you for, uh, for fulfilling my commandments other than my eternal gratitude, which I offer unreservedly. There we go. I know not what the monster's next move may be, but I know where our priority lies and repairing the damage to the castle. As always, you can leave this to your band of loyal apprentices. We'll have the old girl as good as new in no time. Base is restored to its former glory. Yay. All three of Hargon's heroes are beaten. But if the Arc Demon's last words are to be believed, our troubles are not over yet. This war will never end until we reclaim the mark of Moonbrook, a symbol of peace and prosperity of this uh the symbol of peace and prosperity of this fair isle. Alas, it was lost to the enemy's clutches many decades ago. Even though our enemies are defeated, the darkness still lingers. It is as if it's being of a being of unfathomable evil approaches as we speak. There is no end to this war. We must fight day and night. There, there will be peace nevermore. What a pitiful plight. Oh, never peace nevermore. God, Zook, shut your cacophonous cake hole. You acoustically offensive off-key oaf. Your discordant caterwauling is driving us all to distraction. Now is not the time for idle argument. If another enemy truly lurks on the horizon, then we must redouble our defenses. We must be prepared for another assault. Thank you, dude. Without you, we could not have withstood the Scare Force's assault, let alone defeat them. I doubted that the power of creation you wield would bring us this far, but despite my misgivings, all of our dreams are now within our grasp, mine included. Speaking of your creative powers, I have a request from His Majesty. There is something he would like you to build. He asks you to build a dungeon beneath the castle grounds. We may seen, soon need to use it. Perhaps you could repurpose the hidden storeroom below the castle garden. 
I suggest you draw your blueprint there. Yeah, so the secret armory I was going to build down here didn't end up happening. Okay, so we just need some flagstones, castle walls, cell doors, cell walls, brazier, stone pot, and chains. Let me have a look. Oh, it's double door too. Yes, this should suit our purposes, purposes perfectly. Excellent work, dude. I think it's best to leave the building work to you. It would not do for one of the townsfolk to err or otherwise and leave uh, err or otherwise and leave the cell vulnerable to escape. Best of luck, dude. I look forward to seeing the dungeon blueprint brought to life. Well, for starters. Let's clean up the uh, the mess that I left. Because there was going to be a sweet armory down here. But, sadly. Sadly. 